New roof. Shock. Just utter shock. This morning on News 12, a new family on the block reacting after a tree falls on their home during the storm in Rockland County. Plus, more damage across our area. We'll let you know what some different measures are now being taken place to help with the cleanup efforts across towns. Welcome to News 12 and News12.com. I'm Jen Selig. We're getting straight to weather this morning as that is our top story in towns across our area. They're facing damage from yesterday's storm. So let's go right to Stormwatch Team Meteorologist Skylar Day Harmon. She has a look at what to expect throughout today. Good morning, Skylar. Good morning, Jen. Yes, it was definitely an intense night for many in the Hudson Valley with those storms. But in terms of how we're looking today regarding cleanup efforts and whether or not you're going to be able to actively get anything done today with the storms later on, the answer is yes. We have a mostly cloudy and dry beginning to the day, so that's a good time to be doing whatever you need to get done for your Sunday, be that part of that storm cleanup or just general Sunday activities. And then as we head into early parts of the afternoon, that's when we're going to start to see some of those showers and storms starting to move in. Not a total washout in the early afternoon, but you could definitely notice that. What you're also going to notice today is that things are a little bit cooler. We still have plenty of humidity, which is making things feel a little bit yucky, but temperatures are much better today, working their way up into the low to mid 80s, so much more pleasant, feeling a smidgen warmer with some of that humidity. But you can see those storms start to move in by the early afternoon and linger throughout the afternoon and evening. We'll time it out in just a few minutes. And we are getting a look now at some of the aftermath from yesterday's severe storms and weather. Now, this damage is from Rockland County here. During the storms yesterday, residents who live on Cottage Road in Valley Cottage say that they watched a tree split in half and uproot itself before landing across one property and on the top of a car in a driveway. We spoke to the homeowner who tells us that they just moved in three weeks ago. You know, I, not, no words can describe when you come to your first home and see a tree on it. Uh, the roof's damaged, the sheetrock in my bedroom's damaged, my car is totaled. Mark Casey, that homeowner you just heard from, tells us that he lives in the home with his wife and two young children. Luckily, nobody was home, so nobody was injured. The worst of the storm may have passed us, but the cleanup is now just getting started as crews work to remove the toppled trees and debris that has been left behind. Take a look at this fallen tree. This is in Clarkstown. We're told heavy rains and wind ripped it off from the ground. The superintendent of highway tells the town of the town tells us that this is just one of many calls that came in yesterday. We got calls around five o'clock up with trees down and blocking roads. We had a large one down the street here. Uh, to cross the whole road that we were able to clear. We're told crews will be out all day today in Rockland County, removing down trees, branches, and other debris right off the road. One town in Rockland County is now suspending its noise law as crews are working to clean up. The Upper Nyack Village Mayor telling News 12 that the law regulating sound has been suspended until 8 p.m. on Tuesday. It's to allow for leaf blowers to be used during the cleanup, clearing up that debris. Now, the law says gasoline-powered leaf blowers may only be used between March 15th through May 15th and also September 15th through December 15th. The mayor is also encouraging people to stay away from fallen power lines, too. In other news for you this morning, two people have been arrested after a dispute in Nanuet that allegedly involved a loaded handgun. This one, Clarkstown police tell us that Adrian Clare was showing this gun in the parking lot of Home Depot on Hutton Avenue during a dispute with another man. We're told that Claire then left the scene with a car with another suspect, Ashley Claire. Officers say that they quickly located those suspects and found the loaded handgun right in the car. Both were arrested and are now facing weapons charges. Blacksmiths turn unwanted guns into garden tools, all at a gun violence prevention event in Mount Vernon. Raw Tools Buffalo demonstrated their work yesterday at First Presbyterian Church. And the goal here was to help raise funds and promote an upcoming safe surrender event that they're planning to have in November. The entire point of this is to take an instrument that had been an instrument of, of pain and suffering and turn it into something that gives life and hope and healing to a community. We're told that the demo was a team effort with the South 
Presbyterian Church of Dobbs Ferry and also a group called the Scarsdale Friends Meeting. The Orange County Sheriff's Office now welcoming its newest, cutest member. This is Yoda here. The K-9 will serve as the health and wellness service dog for the department. We're told that the K-9 unit, unit supervisor was matched with Yoda by the staff at Puppies Behind Bars. It's an organization that helps incarcerated people raise puppies and teach them commands. We're told that Yoda is ready to provide comfort and support to first responders throughout the county. Back to school, we know it's right around the corner, and one church in Yonkers is gathering families this weekend to give them the supplies that they need. The city enjoyed the back to school jam event. This was yesterday. Kids in joined in on the fun by playing games, getting their face painted, and jumping around in a bounce house. Parents say that they are grateful that the event was organized to provide school supplies for students right in that community. We're catering for parents who are less fortunate than ours. There's always someone out there that is struggling. We're offering book bags, we're offering pens, pencils, composition books, whatever we can find to offer. And it was an annual event. Pretty cool. Talented teenagers showcase their skills all in New Rochelle. The New Rochelle Youth Bureau hosted a teen fest this weekend. The event at Ruby D Park featured vendors, entertainment, and fun for teens and young adults, too. Organizers say that the purpose of the event is to serve as a platform for young people to showcase all of their talents and their businesses. One event has become a staple in the Hudson Valley and throughout the world. The 10th annual Ice Bucket Challenge took place yesterday in Yonkers. Organizers say that the goal is to raise money for research and a cure for ALS. It was back in the summer of 2014 that ALS Ice Bucket Challenge was created, also launching a global event that forever changed the fight against the disease. Organizers say that the campaign has raised, raised about $250 million nationwide and an additional $1 billion in research funding. There's nothing I like better to be able to stand up in front of a crowd like this and say, you want to know something, people? We found it. We found the treatment. We found the cure. Let's throw an ice bucket, fill it up. Let's dump it over our heads because it's the last time we're going to do it. As of now, today, there's still no known cure. Today, Mount Pleasant, you can celebrate and be part of the Medal of Honor Purple Heart Day Parade. Hawthorne Post 112 is hosting it. Organizers say it's a special ceremony, all in memory of Gary Baykirch. He was the past Grand Marshal there. The parade kicks off at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Attendees can line up on Commerce Street and Manhattan Avenue. And everyone can enjoy live music and entertainment right after the parade. All right, let's get another check of your hyper-local weekend forecast because we know weather is our top story and there is debris across the region from yesterday's storm. So let's go right to meteorologist Skylar Day-Harmon. Well, temperatures are cooler today, 